In this video, I'm going to show you how to make sense of division. So this is an example of a word problem I made. Iris has 2,312 monkeys in all. She can definitely not handle so many monkeys and wants to give them to zoos. She researches and finds 17 zoos willing to take in monkeys. How many monkeys should she give to each zoo if each zoo has to have the same amount of monkeys? Now we're going to get into solving our problem. So we're going to do this using the partial quotients algorithm. And to do that, we have to set it up like we would set a normal long division problem. But instead, we add a side. We add a side, which I do normally because I find it easier than writing it on the top because you can see the numbers clearly, and I don't have enough space to do that. <laughs> so. I'm going to start by thinking I have 17 zoos and 2,312 monkeys. So how m to start with, how many monkeys can I give to each zoo? I would start with 100, which would get rid of 1,700 of my monkeys. And I would remain with 612. Now, I know 17 times 3 equals 51, and I guess that's close enough, so... 17 times 30 would equal 510, and that would leave me with 102. Since I don't know that, I didn't know that 17 times 6 would equal 102, I normally tend to start with times 10, so 170. But I, I figured out that was too much and did 17 times 5 instead. That way I get 85. And I remain with 17. I know 17 goes into 17 once, so that leaves me with 0. So since it's called partial quotients, we have to obviously put together our partial quotients to get a full quotient, which would be our answer, which is 136. In sentences, our answer would be, let me just 